Well, this isn't looking good. In an effort to get my car ready for power tour in a few weeks, we're gonna be looking at a new product from Proform. This is our new lightning bolt mini alternator. This is advertised to put out about 80 amps at idle, as well as 100 amps on the top end. This thing uses a 98 millimeter case size, and this thing only weighs seven pounds. The kit that I actually picked up actually includes a 10 SI adapter in order to see if I can get this to fit in my 1973 Dodge Charger turbo car that I'm gonna be taking a power tour in the next month or so. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what is inside. Inside, we have a couple pamphlets. Let's go ahead and take a look at these papers real quick. So it looks like this is actually the installation instructions. Pretty basic. It is a one wire hookup. It's really just a one wire hookup, so it really doesn't take a lot of time to actually get this bolted up on a GM application. But I'm not gonna be running a GM application. I'm gonna be running this on a big block Mopar, so we're gonna have to make a mount in order to get this thing to work. The second paper that we're looking at is actually something that I haven't seen in quite a while. And this is a quality control test report from this actual alternator. If you guys look very carefully, you can see that those words, these letters right here on the right hand side, those are all handwritten. So this alternator was actually tested by a person in a factory, which is actually super cool to know that your parts were tested before they were actually shipped out to you. This third page that we have here is actually another test report. We might go ahead and dive into these numbers a little bit later, but for now, let's actually take a look at the alternator because I'm really anxious to take a look at it. So inside the box itself, we have the alternator, the 10 SI adapter bracket, along with the spacer and a bolt. The alternator itself is actually super light. Like they said, it was only seven pounds. It is a single rib pulley, but look at the size of this pulley. It's actually super huge. The shaft is also a really good size as well. It reminds me of the older Denso units used in imports, but it doesn't quite look like a Denso case. When you guys look, you actually have lightning bolts running across the ribs of this alternator, along with the Proform stamping here and there as well. You're also going to find the single wire connection here on top. And this is where you're gonna wire up your one wire hookup to your battery or your junction block. And jumping over to the mounting ears itself, I mentioned that you can install this alternator as is onto your system. If you just fabricate two mounts for it, you should be able to get this thing going. But if you're trying to run this on an application that would normally accept the GM 10 SI alternator, you can run this unit in its place instead with this adapter. This adapter goes on one way it slips onto this ear right here. Then you would take this spacer and I believe either mount it on the bottom or on top, depending on where it's supposed to be. Since I'm gonna be eliminating the factory Mopar alternator, I'm gonna be installing this little guy instead. I decided to get the kit with the adapter, that way I have options. If I can make it fit without the adapter, I will do so. But if I need to use the adapter, at least I have it on hand. Stay tuned for an installation coming up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher. Out.